All right, now let's continue with this crusade against these brainless dogs and their brainless owners. Dogs versus cats. Been meaning to make this video for a while. As I've said before, I would not own any animal. I would not allow any animal to live in my home. But if forced to the wall with a gun, without question, I would choose the cat for a number of reasons. First of all, cats have more intelligent behavior. Most of the time, dogs act as if they have brain damage. They cannot stop moving most of the time, constantly looking in different directions, wagging their tails, and moving around aimlessly scratching themselves because they're so infested with fleas, right? This is annoying. I've seen cats sit there and stare at dogs while they're acting like this as if the cats are also puzzled at how dumb dogs act. Constantly moving around and sniffing everything. Cats don't do that. And I know some people will say, oh, it's because of their sense of smell. Even though one study shows that cats have a greater sense of smell than dogs. Yet they don't sniff around on everything like dogs do. Cats will sit still. They display a much greater sense of self-control much more like a human. This behavior from dogs to me is annoying and unacceptable. Dogs also have no respect for boundaries. Even if they don't know you, they will walk right up to you and bury their noses in your crotch, sniffing all over you bumping their wet, nasty noses against you, nibbling on you, right, pouncing on you, thrusting their rigid, out-of-control bodies all over you. Cats don't do that. Again, cats are more like humans. They have to get to know you first. They need to get a feel for your energy first. They got to check you out. And then they will approach you calmly, slowly, right? And they're gentle. Again, to me, this is a sign of greater intelligence. It is much more similar to human behavior. Dogs are clumsy. They act as dumb as they look. And that's another thing. Dogs are ugly and they look dumb. They always look confused. They look lost and befuddled. As if they have no access to a brain. Cats look confident and comfortable. As if they're not only aware of their immediate surroundings, they know what's on the other side of the walls, right? They have an intelligent look and expression like a mathematician, while dogs don't even look like they know how to count to 10, right? Cats will keep their mouths closed, while dogs, again, look like brain-damaged animals, allowing their tongues to hang out of their mouths, drooling, slobbering, and panting, breathing all hard, looking around, splashing, spit everywhere, like a brain-damaged animal. I have no idea why people enjoy looking at such an absurd-looking animal every day. Dogs are also aggressive, right? You have dog control 
units for a reason. But you do not have cat control units. Again, when cops are called for animal attacks, it's a dog, never a cat. You have leash laws for dogs. They can get impounded if they are off leash away from their owner's property. Nobody is afraid of stray cats. There is no cat leash law. But stray dogs are a problem because they are dumb and aggressive. They attack for no reason. Cats don't do that. The few times I've seen cats attack is when they are being bothered. People are trying to hold them and exercise physical control over them. Again, similar to humans. You can't just walk up and try to physically control random human beings. Even though cats are well capable of inflicting serious damage on people and especially children, it is only dogs that specialize in attacking people and children. Right? As soon as they even look at you, they start growling and barking. They are very aggressive, violent animals. This is simply not the case for cats. Dogs also stink. Right? They have no sense of hygiene at all. Cats can spend the majority of the day cleaning themselves. Dogs will just sit there and stink and be totally content with it. When you walk into a dog lover's home, you can smell that mutt before you even see it. A dumb looking animal that drools and stinks, right? That acts dumb. They do not bury their feces. If they don't eat it, they leave it there. Cats will bury it to hide the scent from other animals. Another sign of superior intelligence. Dogs are also loud, constantly barking, which only adds to the retardedness of their overall behavior. Right? Cats will let out a meow every now and then, but overall, cats are quiet, civilized animals, especially compared to mutts. And they always need attention, dogs, constantly, right? Always up in people's face, always bothering people. Cats will get annoyed when you show them too much attention. They like to be in their own zone most of the time. Again, much more like humans. The way dogs are constantly begging for attention all the time is an addition to their overall retarded, dumb behavior. It makes them come across as even more brainless. I have no idea why people are so fascinated by these loud, dumb-looking, stinking, ugly, slobbering, brainless-acting animals. Right? They're willing to put up with all of this for companionship, which, again, to me, is a clear sign of a mental disorder, right? I also enjoy watching cats hunt, right? Small cats and big cats, the way they stalk their prey. Again, they demonstrate higher intelligence than dogs. They're very agile, nimble, light on their feet, the way they use their claws. Dogs are rigid and clumsy. They just act dumb. Everything about them 
comes across as dumb. There is nothing interesting about watching a pack of mutts hunt other animals or do anything. Right? People are fascinated when they use the lasers and the cat is chasing the laser because of how agile cats are. Dogs cannot use their claws like cats. They're reduced to simply chasing their prey until they get close enough to bite it. Again, dumb behavior. They seem very limited and incapable of many things that cats are capable of. They are nowhere near as sophisticated as cats. All right, so without question, even though I would never own an animal, cats are far more acceptable than mutts.